Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500. Welcome back to Project Van Gogh. She's back from the paint shop. Let's go take a look. She's back from the paint shop, very dusty, inside and out, very dusty. But let's take a look at the paint job. Look at that, back to as it should be. Beautiful job as always, they always do a cracking job. Fantastic. Inside. I've got the keys, <laughs> typical. I've got a few bits to touch up. Got that little, it's a little dent there. I need to touch up. I wasn't going to get them to do things like that. Um, obviously going around it, as we've seen before, I've got uh, a bit of a dent here in the wheel arch, which hasn't broken the paint, so I'll have a go at that. If I can't do it myself, which I should hopefully be able to, I will get a, a, a PDR guy out. There's a PDR fellow that I know that I've used before. I've got a couple of bits to touch up on the bumper here. We've got, uh, if we do get the PDR fella in, I've got a little bit of a dent there. Just about to see it, which I will get done. Um, little mark there. Little bit on the back bumper. There's a few bits around there. There's a few bits there. All of those will just be touched up. It's nothing spectacular. Um, yeah. Can't get in it to show you inside, but it's absolutely covered in dust. I was looking at the seats as well. That seat, I think they've had a plastic cover on that seat, and it's still damp, and it's actually started going a little bit mouldy. I mean, you think it's been in the body shop for the best part of well, two and a half weeks, <laughs> it's, and it's um, a little bit mouldy, and there's still bits of paint on it that I didn't get off. But there are a set of seats, front seats, exactly the same as this on eBay for two hundred pounds. Uh, in London and I've sent the bloke a message and said will you accept 150 cash or pick up Friday which is tomorrow no reply so far I've also um, made an offer on a car on eBay um, a facelift not a, a 65 plate I was going to say 1965 then a 65 plate um, but facelift lounge um, with what does it need what does it need a wing and a bumper I think it needs front wing and a bumper Possibly headlight, possibly front panel. Uh, it's only a cat, is it cat N or cat S? I think it's cat S, although it's very little damage going by the looking at the pictures. Um, it's up, it's on eBay for 2999 or 2995. Um, I've asked him if he would accept two and a half. No reply. I sent an email and I have uh, sent an eBay message. No reply. I can only assume that no reply means no up yours, but why i don't i just don't get it you know he could say no i want 2995 or and i could say i'll meet you halfway 2750 and he would say no i want 2995 in which case i could say yes or no but just to ignore me maybe he sold it maybe it's on there and he sold it i don't know i just don't understand these people who just don't bother coming back to you ridiculous and this is someone who sells cars for a living uh d d d b i u k or d i b u k i think his username is um yeah I don't know. Anyway, so I won't be buying that car then. Uh, but yeah, back to this one. So uh, there's not a massive amount left to do on it. Needs good clean. I do need to change those seats. Um, there are some scratches on the dash, unfortunately, which I'm going to try and get rid of if I can. Failing that, is, is, it is a last, last resort. But if I have to buy a black dashboard and change the dashboard, I will, because I want this car to be as good as it can be. Um, and it won't be expensive. And of course, I can do it in two and a half hours i can take a dashboard out and put a new one in e easy in two two and a half hours so it's not not a problem uh, i'd rather not but um if i have to do it i have to do it but we'll do that once we get to clean it finish cleaning up the interior we'll, we'll do that but i just wanted to show you it back anyway so um yeah we'll uh, we'll see you probably tomorrow when we uh, get on with this although i've got to do my sister-in-law's thermostat again tomorrow great fun anyway see you tomorrow Right, it's time to clean it inside. The state of it. Look at the state of it. Oh dear. Always the same when it comes back from the body shop. So, <clears throat> I think I've probably shown you these seats already, but this one, this one must have had uh, 
the cleat the um must have had this on all the time it was there because it although it's dusty as well it's <laughs> it's still wet there's a little bit of mold starting to come there as well but i bought some new seats i have bought some new seats a complete set of seats door cards back seats front seats door cards the lot so i won't tell you what it is at the moment actually if you if you've watched the video from the weekend you probably would have already seen a picture of it um but i'll show you them in the car once they're in um and then i'll we'll have to try and decide what to do with these seats so i don't really know what to do with them whether to try and sell them as they are or whether to try and get some seat covers because even the base see that one the driver's one is not too bad the back this one's quite bad but probably could get away with it but the bases if i can get new bases new covers for the base then i could get away with it and i could i could use them in either use them in another car or sell them probably use them in another car would be better <clears throat> but we'll get them out when we get the new ones in but first of all i just want to show you the level of dust <laughs> look at it every it's over everything in here so i've got to give it a really really good clean i'm not even going to worry about the outside for the time being i want to get the inside done um why have i got that door card off i don't know <laughs> why have i got that door card off why have i got that door card off i'm sure there was a reason so i'm going to give it a get it all cleaned hoover it go over it with um, cleaner all over the hard surfaces and then we'll come back and show you the hopeful transformation there you go all nice and clean hoovered up and uh, um, elbow greased all the hard surfaces now i did have a fear that the dashboard you can see these scratches on the dashboard that's where i've cleaned up clean the paint off and unfortunately using whatever it was i used i can't remember what i used on there probably that same thing that i used on the uh, other bits and pieces um, as i unfortunately scratched the dash um, i've put various products on it to try and disguise it but i think it's too bad what's your opinion it just looks too much when you're sitting here in the passenger seat you can it just sticks out like a sore thumb it just looks damaged and seeing as this is a you know a, i'm not say a premium car but you know it's a newer nicer more expensive car i feel that <clears throat> it needs to be replaced now they're often i haven't looked uh, for a little while but there are often black dashes on um ebay for not too much money there are often some on there uh, and if there aren't any i shall message um club 500 see if they can help me out so obviously i don't need any airbags i just literally need the dash it's a it's a shame that they're black in the sport otherwise they'd be 10 a penny but if i can get one for <clears throat> like 60 quid or something like that for the sake of a couple of hours i can change it and get a decent one in here so it's a shame i mean everything else everything else apart from that which i've still got to do everything else is clean of paint now there is no more paint anywhere obviously there's some on these seats still but these seats are as you know going so yeah it's a shame it is a shame it is a shame it's a nuisance i still got to get all this i thought i'd got all this off all this glue there's still loads of it there i think i need to give it a good wash and then we'll go over it with uh, the various removers tar removers and what have you to get that off uh, lovely job look at that so oh, there's a bit of paint on the tire there a bit of overspray to try and get that off um yeah it's a shame so we've still got a bit of work to do on this so it was i thought it was going to be ready sooner than it sooner than it is but obviously i've got to go around it and touch up all these bits of paint as well touch up and spray them in on there that'll be painted that'll be sprayed <clears throat> i haven't tried to polish any of it out some of it will polish out but 
if it does, then um, saves me having to paint it. But spray it. If I can just touch it in, I think the back bumper will probably have to be painted. Yeah, so that that will probably. Don't know. Yeah, I think that will have to be sh sh rather than touched up. Some of it will polish out, but that bit won't. Yeah, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a nuisance that. Yeah, so it's only a quick video on this one today. Um, until the seats come on Monday, I think they're coming Monday. Um, we'll get those in. Depending on the weather, we'll give it a good clean on the outside and get rid of all this um, muck on here. And again, depending on the weather, we'll get those bits of painting done. And um, actually, I don't know if we will do that Monday or not. Anyway, that's, that's my problem of, of how I'm going to get it done. But yeah, so still quite a bit to do. Uh, but we're getting there. We are getting there. The main bit's done, of course, which is the, the bodywork uh, and all the paint's off. Uh, it's just a matter of now sourcing one of those dashboards and uh, getting it changed. Getting the seats changed and then we'll pretty much be there then, to be honest. I swear I just saw one of my old grey cars just go past at the top of the drive. Um, so yeah, we might be there then. Not much left to do really when you think about it like that. But anyway, that's it for the time being. Um, so we're back on Monday um, when, the, uh, when the seats arrive. See you then. Back again. Uh, so just a just a quick update. I'm uh, I'm on my iPad here on eBay, um, uh, looking for a dash. There's not that many around. To be honest, there was one up in um, pick up only somewhere up north, which uh, wasn't which was alright, but it was for, it was pick up only, so it was no good. Um, but then I found on our friends Club Five Hundred Italia, I found they had a black sport dash uh, with a driver's airbag, knee airbag. And a passenger airbag, which I don't need, of course, for £167, including delivery. So it's a no-brainer. I've bought it. So I've just got to do it, haven't I? This is, this is a nice car. It's got to be done properly. It's got to look as best as I can get it. The seats I've bought are lovely. They're going to be like new. They're out of a 2018 car. So they're going to be like new. You know what, I don't really care if I make much money out of this car. It's been a good project and it's been a learning curve. I've made some mistakes with the, the things that I've used to clean the paint off. I, th I have listened to what you've said, your ideas. Um, I didn't have a steam cleaner. I used the jet wash as was suggested, but I used that powerful lance on it, which has damaged, damaged the seats. My, my fault. Um, and unfortunately I used whatever it was I used whatever type of scour I used on the dash has scratched it so I know for next time if there is a next time and I buy a painted one like that don't 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 do that um there's a little added extra that I'm putting into this car that I won't mention at the moment I, I will do a separate how-to video on it uh, and then I will also incorporate that as part of the the normal videos on this project as well but that'll be to come in soon I uh, want to get it all cleaned and bits of painting and that done first before we do that. Um, it's pouring me rain again now. I've literally just come in to look for a, a dash on uh, eBay. So, seats so coming Monday. Um, it's Friday afternoon now, mid-afternoon. So, I don't suppose that Club 500 will get the dashboard off to me today. But I imagine they'll get it off to me Monday. So, I'll probably come maybe Wednesday if I'm lucky. Um, but I'll be at work anyway until the weekend. So, uh, I won't be able to do it till next weekend anyway. But... It needs to be done. I can't. I, I can't leave it like that. I can't put it up for sale and then someone come to look at it and sit there, knowing that their eyes are looking at those scratches, saying, "Oh no." It's, it's a lovely car. It's got the digital dash. It's just. It's a lovely car. So it, it needs to be as lovely as possible. And having that scratched old dash in it is not good enough. What I am going to do, I'm going to put out some feelers. And if anyone out there knows, I was wondering about wrapping. Has anyone ever? wrapped a dash i know you can obviously people have wrapped the the colored panel but has anyone actually ever wrapped the entire dash i'm thinking of alcantara or something like that is that a bit 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 tacky i don't know because you know the airbag hasn't gone on that dash so it, it's, it just seems a bit too good to throw away but if there's nothing i can use it for i might as well throw it away which seems an absolute shame so 
I'm going to put out some feelers and see if anyone can suggest a material to use. If anyone's ever done it, can give me a few pointers on what the glue to use, how to go about it. I might even have a look on YouTube. Because um, it would be nice. It doesn't matter that it's black, because if it's covered, I can use it on any car. It's just just a shame. You know, if I, when I get a car that's got a blown airbag, um, I could use it on that. I'll just keep it and use it on that. But failing that, I'll just throw it away. I've got enough junk in the garage and down the bottom of the garden in the shed as it is. Um, so, but yeah, I'll look into that anyway. But uh, yeah, so we'll be back next week uh, when we've got the um, the bits come, the dash and the seats. We'll do that all on one day, hopefully, weather permitting. Whichever day that is, I don't know. But whatever, um, yeah, we'll do that all on one day. So until then, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll see you then. Later. The seats have arrived. Seats seats door cards etc have all arrived so we'll, uh, let's uh, get this all unpacked and have a look pretty clean we've got a couple of dents in them just there just there and just there but that was just where it's been stuff pushed against it while it's been in transit so that will soon uh, pop out on its own so yeah they're nice so that, as you can see they've got the white trim rather than the blue which I do prefer I think um, yeah they'll go in this car nicely so we'll get them in the garage for now Give them, uh, give them a chance to uh, pop back to their original shape and then we'll um, on Friday we'll get these uh, get the old seats out uh, and get these new ones in and then hopefully I'm pretty sure that the uh, dash will come by then so we can uh, we'll do the dash and the seats all on Friday and that will all be ready for Sunday's video good stuff morning one morning, because we're mid-roll. So, it's Friday. We've got the new seats, which I think I've already shown you. We've got the dashboard and airbags, which I don't need, have come from Club 500 Italia. Today, we're gonna strip out that scratch dash. We are gonna strip out the seats, put the new dash in, put the new seats in, and then that interior, apart from that little thing with the holes with the paint in, which I will take out at the same time as the dash, I can get that disconnected then because the dash is out, so you can't get to it otherwise. Um, and get that clean, get that back in. But that should, apart from another bit of a clean, that should be the interior finished. Then I can move on to the exterior. Uh, I've already got someone who wants to buy it. Um, so I've told them it should be ready by next week, possibly next weekend, maybe a bit before. So I need to get it done as much as I can today. So I've got the entire day to get this done. So let's get on with it. So another, Another good job by Club 500 Italia. I'm always telling you about Club 500 Italia. There's their website, fiat500spares.co.uk or have a look on their eBay shop. Um, in there, as I said before, we have a black dash from a Sport. We also have the driver's airbag, passenger airbag and knee airbag. None of those I need, so I'll be selling those, which will hopefully get me the money back combined from what I paid for that that's what I'm hoping that will be a result if you remember because of the paint spill on that I did actually buy a new airbag which <clears throat> can't remember off the top of me how much it cost but it, it was a fair bit so I will sell the one that's in there which looks actually in better condition than the one I've got to be fair so I might actually swap them and then sell that one um, assuming it's the same amount of plugs which it probably will be um, one way or another, I will be selling the one in the car or that one and then try and coop, recoup some of the money. So with no further ado, I'm going to get this unpacked, make sure it's all okay before I take the old one out. And then what I'm going to do, you've seen all this before and there are other videos and I'll link to them above um, in case you want to see how to take out a dash. Uh, and I will put you on time lapse and I will move around the car in various places on time lapse. Once we've got the seats and the dash out, then we'll come back before we put them back in. So stay with me. Enjoy the music, put your feet up, and let's get on with it.
that thing's a pain. You can't get to the plug to unplug it until the thing's out. Which is really a nuisance. Oops. There we go. There we go. Let's take it out the other, oops, the other side. It's easier, especially with the camera prop, propped up just here. Whew. Still a shame, I'm still annoyed about this. Annoyed at myself, I should say. Um, took about half hour, 40 minutes. To show you these scratches. Couldn't have left that in there, could I like that? They do look worse through the camera, as these things often do, but yeah, not good. Not good at all. My own stupid fault. Let's just show you in here. And we'll have to then take a picture for Instagram, I think. Scary, isn't it? <laughs> Imagine when you do this for the first time. Very scary. Luckily for me, I've done this umpteen times, so it doesn't faze me whatsoever. I know some people do remove those. I don't tend, tend to bother. Don't really need to. I always used to, I even undone the bolts. You, I always used to take off the center console. You don't actually need to. Uh, and I usually unplug the airbag as well. I couldn't get the plug out, so I've just left it in there. It's supported on the floor, so it's not putting pressure on it, but they're always difficult to get out those ones for some reason. But yeah, that's it, right. So, okay, what we're gonna do now uh, is, is go straight in and put the new one in. So we'll set you back up on time-lapse and we get a new one in. Then once that's all in, uh, I want to, before I put the stereo in, I wanna, just want to show you something on it. I had great trouble getting that stereo out. If you remember, that was the stereo that I repaired. Or the stereo front that I repaired, I should say. Um, and I just want to show you uh, something on it before I put it back in again. And I need to test it to make sure it's okay before I actually install it into the car but we'll come to that after the uh, time lapse. So back onto that now, make yourself another cup of coffee. We'll get your other half to make you another cup of coffee, put your feet up, sit back, relax, and watch me working. So we're pretty much there now, almost done, almost done. Um, I'll show you the stereo in a minute, what I was talking about earlier, um, but I, you might have seen me struggling to get that on, and I had a bit of a problem, um, as on this, the plastic behind that was broken, both sides. Um, I don't know how that's got broken. Um, maybe the screws were done up too tight or something, but what I've done is I've super glued Nothing I would do would keep it together. The screws were just popping through. So what I've done is I've super glued some washers on this side. They've probably gone off now, but I'll leave it a bit longer. Um, and I don't want to put the steering wheel on until I've got this on. Um, so 
I'll put some also put some washers on the other side. This is the screw, which has got a bit inbuilt washer, but it needs another washer on it as well, otherwise it's just gonna go straight through. So turn it over. You know you can see down the hole there. See it's broken, but we've got a washer the other side now. Same goes that side. It's really annoying. But uh, that should hopefully keep it together. But I'm gonna give it Although it's super glue, I put quite a lot on, so I want to give it 10, 15 minutes, another 10 or 15 minutes before I put it back on. And I'll probably put a bit of tape over it just to help hold it in position as I screw, put the screw on. So on the stereo, I really had a struggle getting the stereo off. It just would not come out. Uh, and I ended up pulling off and breaking. You remember it was already broken and I super glued it. Well, that bracket has gone sideways. It should be like that. And somehow that's gone sideways. Maybe it wasn't tight enough. Um, and, and it jammed in. I, I couldn't get it out eventually got it out and i've got to straighten it up so i'm hoping that the front will still go on okay obviously it's held on by that but it's also held on by that both sides um and of course that's now broken so i've got to try and hopefully it'll fit it'll, it'll uh, stay on but i just want to test it because i did really have to pull on it and prise it out to get it out of the cage um the new the new dash didn't have a cage in it, so I've had to take the cage out of the other one. Not that there was anything wrong with it, but I've taken the cage out of this, out of the old one and put it in this one. So very, very nearly there. Uh, what I've got to do now, I'm going to, as you can see, got that wire sticking through now for the heater panel, and I've got to get that, those bits of paint off. So I'm going to do that now, then I can put that back on. And then apart from the stereo, I don't want to fire it up until I've got the airbag on. So I'm going to leave that for the time being until such time as I've got that on. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to put that cowling on, put the steering wheel back on, and then we'll go come to the stereo. Hopefully that will be okay. So back in a minute. That's back in pretty much it's a couple of tiny little specks on it but i've got pretty much all of it off so it's all back together now and um only thing i've got left to do is the stereo um what else i'm gonna i've put some of the tools away i'm gonna put the rest of the tools away uh, i'm gonna hoover it all out in the back um, obviously some of the dust from the painting i couldn't get up and there's still a few bits of white paint um, the bits that were behind the dash and so on. <clears throat> oh, I've got to put one of those in. I've got a new one of those because the old one was a bit painty. Um, and uh, then I'm going to get the seats back in. Once I've got the seats back in, I'll uh, attack the stereo and hopefully that will uh, that will go back and hold. But when, once I've hooved it out, put put the new seats in. I should say, not the seats back in. Put the new seats in. Um, obviously, I've got to change the door cards as well. And then we'll um, plug the power in and have a look at, see if we can get that stereo going and then that should be it. Should be all nice and clean inside. And I'll probably give it another wipe over as well before we do that. Um, and then inside, that should be done then hopefully, as long as I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> Nipped any cables or anything like that. I shouldn't do, I've done this enough times, I know what I'm doing. So yeah, that's it, it's good. Good. I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm glad I have done it now. Now it's done, or virtually done. Um, yeah, good. Uh, and I've also, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I think I've actually probably even got a buyer for it. Um, I've got to let them know as soon as it's ready. Uh, and then they're going to come around and have a look. So that's good. Anyway, let's get on with it. We'll put you uh, on time. I'm not going to time lapse you hoovering it out. I'll, um, I'll do that and then I'll put you on time lapse to put the seats back in. And then we'll come back once that's done. <laughs>
Sometimes I like the right palaver putting that stereo back together. Um, I put some double-sided tape on it as well, so I'm hoping it's going to hold it on okay. It should do, I think. I uh, just want to make sure it works. So I've reconnected the battery after putting everything back in. Let's give it a whirl. Hopefully, the radio will work. Yeah, it works. I don't want that. I don't want music. So yeah, it's working, that's good. Uh, CD, there is a CD in there. Yeah, that's, oh, that's that rotten Stormzy one, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so it's working, so I'm gonna try and push it back now. Um, I'm not on the tripod at the minute, so. Um, I've got no warning lights up, which is good. It's always a bonus when you've had the airbags and that off. So yeah, but we're all good. We are all good. So I'm going to push the stereo back and hopefully it will it'll all stay together. And uh, the only thing I've got left to do is uh, these seats are not grubby, but the backs of them are a bit grubby. Um, the door cards are a little bit on the grubby side, so I'm going to have to give those a bit of a clean. I might just try the um, elbow grease on those. Um, they're sort of they're leather, aren't they? So that's not any point in using the um, the wet cleaner. Um, so yeah, we're actually there actually uh, inside wise. Um, it's all been hoovered, I'm going to put some new mats in um, well, to make sure all these controls work, did not I? Yeah, aircon works. Um, the different uh, vents work. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, bulbs work. Hopefully, oh I think there's one out. <laughs> it's one of those ones a bit dodgy it's come on now that's all right good good uh yeah no bulbs out or anything okay so that's it um so i've still got a, i have hoovered some more glass out of there i think i've actually got it all out now but i'm not going to put that on just just yet um i'm going to have a little drive of it and then tomorrow when i do the outside of the car um i'm just gonna if there is any glass left in there i'm going to take the door off and um, tip it backwards just to get the any that's left but I think it, I've actually got it all off I was opening and closing the door earlier and as I closed it glass was falling out the little drain hole at the bottom um, but uh, I got the hoover in there again and I've hoovered it so hopefully that's done it so that's the end of that video for today interior's done it took me a little bit longer than I thought but that stereo didn't help but that's all in now it all works perfectly buttons are all back on one more thing to do inside apart from a general wipe over is um, put that other door card on but I need to make sure there's no glass left in the bottom of the door first. We'll do that tomorrow and then we'll start on the outside, give it a really good snow foam and a wash and then we'll attack the paint but that's tomorrow and that'll be in the next video which will probably be the last video on this car. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. We'll see you uh, probably, not sure when we'll see you on this one next because if it's done next week then I think it'll probably be sold next week as well because as I said before I've already got someone who's uh, interested in it uh, and if they don't have it I'm sure it will sell even though it's nearly December which is the worst time of the year to sell a car I think it's going to sell so until the next one stay safe take care we will see you soon